Hi, my name is Nadino Mace and I attend Harmony Science Academy North Austin. My PBL project is the chemistry behind how fireworks get their color. The materials I need in order to conduct my experiment as shown in the picture are 5 steering rods, 5 150 milliliter beakers, 5 scoops, 5 petri dishes, a lighter, methyl alcohol, barium chloride, copper chloride, potassium chloride, calcium chloride, dihydrate, and lithium chloride. To begin, I first added 20 milliliters of methyl alcohol into each of the five beakers. After doing so, I scooped a little of each powder onto each scoop and put it into each of the beakers containing the methyl alcohol. I then mixed the substances together. onto each dish. Using a lighter, I then lit each of the mixtures that are now on the dishes. Just with these simple steps, I was able to determine how fireworks get their color. I found out that the colors that fireworks make are created by the use of metal salts. When metal salts are ignited, they release energy in the form of light. The color they give off depends on the length of the wavelengths. Shorter wavelengths of light, 400 to 500 nanometers, produce violet and blue colors, while longer wavelengths of light, 600 to 700 nanometers, produce orange and red colors. Yellow and greens are produced by intermediate wavelengths, 500 to 600 nanometers, along the electromagnetic spectrum. Conducting my experiment, I wrote a narrative essay on my project. I wrote about the different impacts fireworks has on society. I talked about how we use fireworks so commonly in our lives during special events like the 4th of July or New Year's, so we should really know how they get their color. And I hope by watching this video or reading my narrative essay, you'll know why. Fireworks is something we watch with our families and loved ones, and it's just a great way to have fun during celebrations. The history behind fireworks goes back thousands of years to China during the Han Dynasty. The Chinese are still a leader in the production of fireworks today. Once the recipe for black powder was perfected, they found that it was easily used in rocket fuel, and they made hand-carved wooden rockets in the shape of a dragon in the 6th century. These rockets shot rocket-powdered arrows from their mouth and were used against the Mongol invaders in 1279. The principle behind these rockets is still used in rocket-powdered fireworks today. Thanks for watching. Harmony Schools